Hello, I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my first impressions video of The First Purge, which is actually the fourth movie of the Purge franchise, and I was greatly disappointed. Uh, even though this movie is presented as an origin film, it's not really an origin film. It talks about the first Purge experiment, but it doesn't really delve into the answers that we should be getting from this kind of movie. Like, how did this process of coming to the point where we're going to just kill each other came to be. There's a character that's a, a psychologist and she supposedly thought of this process and, and this figured that this would be the best answer and somehow sold it to the populace. You know, people voted for this purge experiment. I'm like, okay. Uh, and the participants, is, they say, okay, it's on Saturday night. And so, okay, if you sign up and you stay in Saturday night for the whole night, we'll pay you $5,000. And if you participate, we'll pay you even more. And I'm thinking, okay, well, fine. Well, let's see what happens when they get their money, when they get their money. And, and, and we don't see that process. And the big selling point of the whole franchise has always been just thinking about what all, all the good the Purge does for us. And I'm like, well, well, how? How is one night of violence going to lead to a prosperity for all? Now, basically, uh, the premise is, well, if the government is flat broke, so if we kill off as much poor and downtrodden as possible, then we can uh, pay for uh, who's left because we'll have more money, more funds to support those, uh, you know, downtrodden people, and we can, you know, we'll have fun for everybody else. But still, it's like, okay, but how does this also benefit as far as, uh, you know, crime rates are going to be down less than 5%, unemployment is going to be just down 5%, and it's going to lead to prosperity we're talking here, but it's like, well, what about, like, rape? What about child abuse? What about embezzlement? What about drug trade? You know, how does that change? At least with Thanos, Thanos was like, look, I'm just mainly concerned about the bare basics, food, water, shelter. There's too many people, not enough resources. I'm going to kill off half, not the poor, not the uh, uh, downtrodden, not the uh, uh, um, unintelligent. No, half, just straight up Half of all city life, and then that we, you know, the rest will figure it out. And I'm not in this for the praise and the glory. I, you know, I just want to do it and be done. And the universe turns itself where it's just purge. It's like, yeah, we're going to kill off the poor. And that's going to make the middle class and upper class richer somehow and benefit everyone. And crime rates are going to go down. And it's going to be basically a paradise. And I'm like, but, but how? And, and sell me on it. It's like Thanos in one movie did a better job of selling the idea of cutting off half the population than this franchise has done in four movies. And it's ridiculous. And speaking of ridiculous, there is a character in this movie who is so cartoonishly uh, evil that he's actually named after a cartoon villain. <laughs> I'm serious. He's actually named after a cartoon villain. And uh, as far as the hero, if you thought Rey from Star Wars was a Mary Sue, well, this guy is a Gary Sue because he's practically an urban Rambo. He's, still got the, uh, he's got all these special forces skills, even though he's never been a special forces. At least with Superfly, he, he, Superfly knows martial arts. He can handle a gun. You know, okay, he's a little more believable. But this guy, he's like he's like you know, auditioning for an action movie or something like that. But anyway, yeah. I, by the way, I didn't enjoy this movie. I was greatly disappointed. I saw this with my friend, and she was even more disappointed to a point of being furious. And I just can't recommend it at all. So if you're a if you're, if you're a fan, go right ahead. But if you're just like someone like me that really wants to see how this purge process works, both before and after, and benefits like it claims, no, nah, it, it's so disappointing. You know why even bother to talk about politics and and socioeconomic status and like that if you know you only really care about is the killing. If you're really about the killing, killing, fine. Just make it about the killing, not all this political and jobs and crime and all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, all right, so that was my initial thoughts on The First Purge. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or just like, share, and subscribe. Once again, I'm High Hill Knight. Thank you for watching, and remember, find inspiration everywhere.